What's up, guys? Nick from Hybrid Physiques. Check it in. I was wa I'm sitting here watching the 2019 Olympia Open competition, and I didn't know a lot about this gentleman previous to the Olympia. Now, he turned pro in the 2017 USA. He's at a super heavyweight. Uh, he actually weighed in pretty light at that show, right around 230 pounds. Then went on to win the 2019 California Pro. And he looked phenomenal in that show. I looked back, and it, probably something that should have stood up before, conditioning was... I, the conditioning was good. He won the he won the show, obviously, so it was good enough. In the Olympia, he brought a completely different package, significantly tighter, right around the same body weight, two hundred thirty pounds, meaning he probably put on an additional five, six, seven pounds of muscle coming into the Olympia. But this gentleman's lines as an open competitor for the Olympia were absolutely incredible. This is kind of the future of the open division of what we're seeing now. There's only one thing that can hold Patrick Moore back, and it's the, it's the piece that I held him back for the 19 Olympia, and that's size. Many different things can happen from this point on. He's got the lines. He's got the shape. He's got the muscle abilities. If you look at the overall physique, there's not really any weaknesses. He's a really, really complete, well-put-together bodybuilder. He needs to take the time to put on the size properly. What you have is some competitors, as soon as they get into the pro division, if the genetics aren't strong enough, they put out a bunch of size and it blows out their midsection. He needs to just take his time, put the weight on carefully and efficiently, and then proceed and move into the next show. I'd like, I, I'd honestly like to see him take two years off. We already saw what he can do. Take a solid two years off, put out a bunch of lean tissue, don't blow out the midsection, and then come back. Even in this rear double bicep shot, absolutely incredible. Now in this pose, he is pinching his shoulder blades in a little too much. He, he definitely can open up a little more. Uh, but again, look at the shape. Look at the structure. Look at the lat insertions. So when we're talking about a physique, weaknesses, strengths, everything's there. Now, he doesn't have a lot of lower lat in this shot. However, the connections are there. The insertions are there, meaning after he does take the time and put on some good weight, we know that lower back is going to be nice and full. This most muscular shot. Incredible shot for him. Again, you could tell when he's standing next to competitors, he is slightly smaller. However, by himself, he looks like Mr. Olympia altogether. Again, look at the quad structure. Look at the structure of his arms, big bellowing arms, big chest. Everything is there to be a really, really high level, top five Olympia competitor. If not Olympia champion, we don't know. There is a transition phase. Some people can put on a good amount of size. And some people can't. They kind of get stuck with the constraints of, uh, you know, from the genetic perspective. Look at somebody like Brandon Curry. His upper body, absolutely massive, absolutely perfect, but those legs didn't follow with the upper body, and that is a genetic feature. Now, there's certain things you could do to bring out more detail, uh, to, to bring out maybe a little bit of extra sweep. However, the size game is... is 95% genetic. And what I mean by that is if you take someone like Patrick Moore, will he ever be a Ronnie Coleman? Probably not. Probably not as far as as far as size. Will he be a Dennis James? Massive size, a Marcus Rule? That's what I talk about when I'm I'm talking about the size game. Some genetic potential allows for it and some does not. So I'm I'm really looking forward to see what he does in the future. That's going to be the end of this video. Uh, please comment in the section below. Please like and subscribe. That's Hybrid Physiques out.